In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the support pistons or support struts, however you want to call them, that hold up the hatch of this Forerunner. Let's get started. I first want to note that you're going to want to support the hatch somehow. I have this pole jack that's holding it up there. It is very heavy and I also recommend doing one at a time because once you disconnect one, the other one can help support it. If you have a second person rather than a pole jack, that's fine too. Just have some sort of support here because like I said, one cannot hold it up and it is heavy. This will be held in at the top and at the bottom the same exact way and that's with a little pin with a C-clip on the other side. So what I want to do is take a pick and try to pick this C-clip out. Now be careful, I'm holding my finger on here because these will go shooting and uh, you definitely don't want to lose it. Oh, there it is. At this point, we can push this pin through. It comes out the other side. It's literally just a little pin. And this is now disconnected. Do the same on the bottom. Take the clip out, push the pin through. Again, my hatch is being supported. Here's the pin, set it aside, and here's your old support piston. Take the new one, make sure it goes in the same orientation, and that's with the chamber at the top and the rod at the bottom. Slide this in here, put the pin through. There we go. Make sure it goes all the way through. If it doesn't, just spin it, because it has a cutout that it needs to line up with. And now, put that clip back on. It's easiest if you push it back down with a screwdriver, at least in my opinion. If you have a better method, do that. But you definitely want to make sure that it's in here. You don't want it to fall out. So I'm going to pull it back out just a little bit, tap it down. All right, so this one's locked in. At the top, turn the piston if needed to line it up. Slide the pin through. And again, it's slotted, so it only goes on in a certain direction. Okay, take the locking clip. This one has to go bottom to top. Once you line that up, clip it in, and there you have it. Now you can do the same to the other side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.